Hey, what's up, everyone? Good morning. Man, I'm tripping. I wasn't going to say anything much about this, but, man, I saw that breakfast club with Amara, Amara La Negra, um, beautiful woman. Man, she's so fine. But the thing that, I mean, I saw the thing with Young Hollywood, and I was really upset at that. I was going to say something, and I'm like, ah, whatever. But then after I saw the breakfast club, I'm like, okay, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to hit two birds with one stone. Uh, you know, almost three, even though DJ Envy didn't say much. He kind of, <laughs> I don't know, man. But Charlemagne, I'm really disappointed, man. I, I thought this dude knew a lot of stuff. I'm like, how do you not know what an Afro-Latino is? I mean, you know, like, come on, dude. Maybe because I just thought, like, okay, he's a five percenter. You know, a lot of five percenters, you know, they got all this knowledge, especially of our people worldwide, you know, so I thought. <laughs> you know, it's just like, how do you not know what a, what a black Latin person is? It's not, it's, it's the weirdest thing, man. Like, how, like, <laughs> this poor girl was trying to explain herself, and if Amara La, La, La Negra ever sees this video, which I don't know, shoot, I'm in like the freaking like closet version of YouTube because <laughs> I only have a few subscribers and all that. I'm happy with whatever I got. I'm not tripping. But if she ever sees this video, I'm like, girl, you don't have to totally try to justify everything, man, as far as like trying to explain yourself to cats. You know, as far as like being Afro-Latina or just black in general, man, like represent that stuff and you have been doing it and it's good. I'm so happy that you're actually the face of it. You know, the only successful person that I've seen, you know, is like Cel Cel Celia Cruz and Antonio Fargas. And I'm sure there's a few other cats like that, but you know, we're black, man. I don't understand. Dominican does not have a freaking look. I don't know how the hell, like, you guys just don't know that. You know, Dominican is, like, not a race. It's a nationality, dude. Like, just like black American is the same. The only difference, and I'm going to repeat this, and I'm glad this quote was made up. The only difference between her and us black Americans, I actually have some Caribbean, Latin Caribbean background, but that has nothing to do with my blood. It has everything to do with where some of my people were, you know, like at the time. I'm not Afro-Latino, but I have roots over there because of just my ancestry. We're black people. We're African descent people, you know. I being a black American, you know, I'm a child of the diaspora. See, that's why I'll say this. That's why I totally believe in Pan-Africanism in that regard, too. Because, you know, that, that question shouldn't even be, you know, how can I say this? That question is already taken care of when you have a Pan-Africanist view of just where your people are. There's people in the Dominican Republic that are black. There's people in Puerto Rico, contrary to young Hollywood, who I, I'm sure has some African ancestry with his bigot itself, um, have that in, in our background. It's the boat stop, man. The boat stop. The slave, slave, Angel Ramirez Jordan said this, but history said this. He said this because history says this. And I'm glad he brought this up. Him being a Puerto Rican and Jamaican dude. The boat stopped in the Caribbean first, dude. It was in Puerto Rico first before... You know, it even came to freaking, like, Northern America, where most of my roots are. You know, we're all black people. There is no freaking Puerto Rican. There's no freaking, like, Dominican. There's no freaking Haitian look. You know, it's... Those are all nationalities, dude. You know, like... I mean, I can go on and on. We're all children of the diaspora. We're all African descent. Or Africans in America, you know, as, as, as Stokely Carmichael, a.k.a. Kwame Ture, you know, would say, you know, and just anybody that has that Pan-Africanist mindset, 
I'm a black man, you're, you know, she's a black woman or whatever, you know, that's just, Charlemagne really kind of really disappointed me and kept asking her like just weird questions. You know what white supremacy does? You even said it yourself. How, how could you even like di dismiss her struggle? You know, she struggles with the same thing that we do, man. The only difference is the culture. It's funny, I remember being in a black history class a long time ago and, and the teacher saying the only difference between um, what happened in North America and what happened in Latin America is that their culture married them, you know? The Africans, you know, you know, the, some aspects of their culture were overtly accepted. I'm gonna say overtly accepted. You know, you could see it, you know, like whether it be in the food and the religion or whatever. For us, it was different. You know, they didn't marry, you know, our African culture, even though there was like, you know, they stole a lot of aspects of it and, and, and used it, you know. But man, I'm, I'm like really disappointed in, in, in Charlemagne, man. Like that was really weird. I'm like, why are you asking her all these damn questions, man? Like, shoot. I mean, like, it just seemed like he didn't even want to hear her and what she had to say. You know, there, I mean, Dominicans, a lot of them are black. A lot of them are mixed, a lot, you know, some of them are white too, although they think that they're all white. Some people might, some, I got into a conversation with this woman when I used to do Uber, you know, and we started talking about, you know, being black and she's like, I'm not black. And she looked like she could be one of my family members. Um, and, and I told her, I'm like, yo, you know, like, why, why do you think you're Spanish? You don't look like a Spaniard over there. And she couldn't really say anything. She couldn't say nothing, you know? And even if she did, like, she would look, she would be in the 1500s, you know, or, or before the 1500s, you know, would look more like a Moor, you know, like, cause we were over there and stuff. And yes, Moors have African descent. They were not just light skinned or white Berbers, you know, like, and even I've, I have a Berber friend you know, that I knew that would say, hey, I'm a pure African, man, I'm a black man, and he looked like he could be one of my uncles. You know, he's a light-skinned brother. By the way, Charlemagne, any of you guys, I don't get, and even for, for Amara La Negra too, like, she basically talking about, like, certain people look Latino, there is no Latin look. Shoot, I've even, I mean, people, there's, the only look there is to being Latino is usually through dress. You know, there's basically it's the same mix, dude, you know, that a lot of Northern Americans have, you know, uh, or it's just or even other Caribbeans and stuff. It's just the different European culture, the different Indios culture. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. Indios, whatever. The only the thing that we all have similar is that we all have the same African descent. So. To be, to be Afro-Latino, the only difference is the culture versus, you know, a, a Northern American black. We're all black. We're all African descent. Be proud of who you are. It's the same freaking struggle, but just a different glove, kind of, you know. Same hand, but a different version of that glove. So... I'm just gonna say this. Be proud of who you are, Miss Amara Lenegro. You're a very beautiful black woman. Represent that. Peace.